Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 52. As always stated prior to reading, get to a church that has Bible study or Sunday school where the word can be broken down and shared with you for an easier understanding. Also, get with some friends who break bread and just have church and understanding with one another. Uh, get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous versions from King James to NIV. But most importantly, and above all the things that I've said, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will answer and fill you up with wisdom if that is what you truly seek. Amen. Isaiah chapter 52 reads as follows. Awake, awake, Zion, clothe yourself with strength. Put on your garments of splendor. Jerusalem, the holy city, the uncircumcised and defiled will not enter you again. Shake off your dust, rise up, sit in throne, Jerusalem. Free yourself from the chains on your neck, daughter Zion, now a captive. For this is what the Lord says. You were sold for nothing, and without money you will be redeemed. For this is what the sovereign Lord says. At first my people went down to Egypt to live. Lately Assyria has oppressed them. And now what do I have here, declares the Lord? For my people have been taken away for nothing. And those who ruled them mock, declares the Lord. And all day long my name is constantly blasphemy. Therefore my people will know my name. Therefore in, the day, in that day they will know that it is I who foretold it. Yes, it is I. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up your, their voices. Together they shout for joy when the Lord returns to Zion. They will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Depart, depart, go out there from there. Touch no unclean thing. Come out from it and be pure. You who carry the articles of the Lord's house, but you will not leave in haste or go in flight. For the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. See my servant will act wisely. He will be praised and lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see and what they have not heard, they will understand. Isaiah chapter 53. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid, him on, laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed excuse me, and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, yet who in this generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in the, his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, 
and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death, and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many, and made intercessions for the transgressors. Amen.